Nick, ask mm-hmm. a question about pedophilia, please. How is it weird in any way? Right, yes, yeah, so Nicholas Boyd Stouts and Budger is a bit more twisted than the average lol cow. This is one of the few times the prey becomes the hunter. Viewer discretion is advised. Nicholas Boyd Stouts and Budger, also known as Nick L. Nickel and Hagaruman, but best known as Nick Bait, is a convicted child molester and scat fetishist from the United States. He rose to notoriety in the trolling board CWC for describing at length his horrible sexual desires. Nick spent years online stalking young girls, and confessed to one of them that he had molested his stepsister. He remained free and gloated about his perversions to anyone who would listen, until the victim stepped forward to testify against him. On the 29th of April, 2015, Nick was arrested. Most people believed that Nick Bate had greatly exaggerated both his fetishes and stories to get attention, but on the 17th of June, 2015, Kiwi Farms user Saul Goodman attended the arraignment trial and recounted the victim's testimony. He claimed that the things she described were brutal and disgusting to a degree far beyond what has previously been reported, and that her testimony was both assured and utterly convincing, which made having to listen to it all the more horrible. This testimony and the following conviction shattered any disbelief that Nick Bate was not as horrible as he said he was. As a result of his crimes, Nicholas has been sentenced to 40 years in prison the maximum sentence for his crime, and will not be eligible for parole for 16.5 years. Despite his incarceration, his infamy lives on, and he is still mocked by trolls to this day. History. Nicholas Boyd Stouts and Budger was born on the 1st of September. 1992 in Pennsylvania. His mother was a delusional religious nut and his father was a pothead and an alcoholic. According to Nick, his father was abusive, but it is unknown if this is actually true. As a kid, he would smoke weed with his dad, until his parents got divorced. He then lived with his mother. In high school, he was homeschooled by his mother and aunt. After high school, with the help of his aunt, He applied for social security and moved into an apartment owned by his aunt. At one point, he lived with his grandma, and has also moved back in with his mother on a few occasions. Contrary to his claims, Nick does not have autism. According to his psychiatric evaluation, though, he does have antisocial tendencies, a personality disorder, a poor grip on reality, and depression. Due to his mental disorders, he was prescribed Vibrid and Ativan. By his own admission, he is a paraphile, coprophile, and a crossdresser. A 13-year-old Nick Bait in 2006. Nick Bait crossdressing. Web presence. Nick has terrorized the internet with his gross presence for over a decade. Nick was obsessed with web animation such as Homester Runner and Bonus Stage. He first joined the Homester Runner wiki in 2004, when he was 12 years old. He joined under the name Hagaruman an alias he used in his earlier online exploits. In 2005, he joined the bonus stage wiki, where he met Anna. Later on, he focused more on social media and live journal. For the most part, he used Twitter, especially towards the end of his free days. He occasionally updated his live journal as well. Twitter, on Twitter, he openly discussed anything and everything, including his perversions. Alongside posts about his family, he would tweet about scat and pedophilia. Nick joined Twitter in March 2009, but didn't start posting a lot until 2010. His Twitter gained attention in 2011, around the time of his discovery. His Twitter was followed by trolls until his last posts in April 2015, when he was arrested. Fetishes. As mentioned, Nick is a paraphile, and has many different fetishes. Though he is straight, Nick obsessively hates vaginas. Instead, he only likes anal. He would express this by constantly talking about butts. He has also said that he only watches porn involving anal sex. His obsession with anuses also plays into his scat fetish. He mainly yearns to watch women shit but he also masturbates with his own fesses. During masturbation, Nick admits to rubbing his excrement all over the walls of his aunt's house. Nick is also a crossdresser. Despite his parents' objections, he wore women's underwear and sometimes wore women's clothing as pictured. Being that his parents are very conservative, they did not approve of this and confiscated his women's clothing. However, he still wore panties for the rest of his days as a free man. Nick's view on gender in itself is questionable. 
He considers himself to be male, but has showed many signs of wanting to be female. His OC has various feminine features, yet Nick doesn't list his OC as having any specific gender. His strange views on gender may be a result of his personality disorder, but that is up for speculation. Pedophilia. Nick has been known to be a pedophile. Though he has admitted it himself, he has gone back on that statement, especially after Rayo's accusations. Nick refers to pedophiles as pedosexuals, and only discussed them occasionally online, most likely due to the controversial nature of the topic. Nick believes that there should be a civil rights movement for pedosexuals, certainly due to his arrest, was known to pursue underage girls on the internet for years, even going as far as to stalk them. Even after turning 18, Nick continued to date some of these girls over the internet. In a leaked Skype chat from 2008 to 2009, Nick was very defensive about his pedophilia. When arguing with trolls, he claimed that there was nothing weird about pedophilia and it should be legalized. However, he backdailed and claimed that he would never actually have sex with children, and that he only intends to talk about pedophilia with his friends. This Skype chat was sent to Anna, who posted it on CWC in 2011, and then it was later posted to YouTube in 2012. Ironically enough, during the call, Nick asks how could this be used against me? So now that we have a clear idea of who Nick is let's go into one of the very few recordings of Nick and see what he has to say about being quote unquote pedosexual. How is it weird in any way? Alright guys, this is recording. I'm gonna give this to Tom maybe. Okay, Nick, ask mm -hmm. a question about pedophilia, please. Uh, what? Wh what you said. What is wrong with it? Say that. But there is... There is well, ex okay, but you're proving my point. The pedophilia should not be illegal. It should. It is, it is yet another illegal. One. It is. Yeah, I know. People but get that's... prosecuted for it. They get thrown in jail for that's it. That's what I'm. That is what I'm saying, though. It's a stupid law. Well, just then... like what you just mentioned. Whatever well, Nick, that. You, Nick, if you think it's so bad, then get out a picket sign, go out in the street, and protest legalization of it. Pro-pedophilia. Yeah, well, so Sonny, just, I just, would... Yeah, yeah. I would do this, but as you know, I do not do things in public, so... Well, you like to tell people what you do. Yes, you tell people on, yeah. on Twitter. Not complete, not complete strangers, just people I already happen to know. Nick, 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 are... Nick, anybody can see your Twitter, and they can know yes, when I'm, you're tapping. Yes, I'm aware of this, but see, I... Oh, you are. When I type... When I type the things, I'm not... I'm not thinking of the random people. I'm just... I. It's directed towards... Well, you should. Like, you should. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, but I realize that there are people I do not know. I just, like, I don't... I don't really care. Well, they're going to make you care one day. They're going to use this information against you, Nick. You do realize this. How, how on earth could this possibly be used against me when I'm not going to have a job? How do or... you know you're not going to want to get a job? You, you, someday you might change your mind. No. People are going to look at this, and they're going no. to call the cops. No. No, son, I do not... Like I said, Nick, if you strongly believe that this is what should happen, then go out into the center of the town with a sign and see how people look at you marching around asking to have sex with kids. But... Watching them. I don't... Whatever your kink is, I don't know. But I'm not actually having sex with kids. I just approve well, you of think pedophilia. It should... What is... It's bad enough that you think it should be legal. There's a difference. Consensual incest, sure. Oh my god. Wait, okay, Nick, just say that again. Do you what? condone consensual incest? I I just said that. You already have it recorded. Why do you want me to say it again? Just so that I can confirm it. Uh, yes, yes I do. Or, yes I did.
so we have a good picture of Nick Bates' perversion and it's safe to say he's more than just a lol cow for me most lol cows are generally harmless or at least more a danger to themselves than to others. Nick breaks this mold and even thinks he is above being held accountable for his actions. Though of course most people thought either he was making it all up for attention or greatly over exaggerating what he had to say. Child molester gets no break on prison term. A nurse's testimony about the victim's personal hygiene was properly used as evidence against a Lancaster County man who is in state prison for molesting a six-year-old girl. A state superior court panel has concluded. The court's ruling, issued this week, condemns Nicholas B. Stoutsenberger to keep serving his 16 and a half to 40-year jail term. The former Columbia man, now 25, was convicted last year of involuntary deviate sexual intercourse with a child and indecent assault. Investigators said he molested the girl in 2009 and 2010. She didn't report the abuse until 2015. In his failed appeal to the state court, Stoutsenberger argued that the testimony of a nurse who examined the child after she reported the molestation should not have been admitted as evidence during his trial. That nurse testified that the child practiced poor hygiene around her genitals. Prosecutors presented that testimony because police recovered a chat log in which Stoutsenberger described part of an assault on the child. In that chat, he mentioned the girl's less that pristine self-care when he described licking her buttocks. Senior Judge William H. Platt noted in the state court ruling. Stoutsenberger tried to convince the state judges that the nurse's testimony about the girl's hygiene in 2015 was irrelevant to crimes that supposedly were committed at least five years earlier. Platt, however, agreed with County Judge Merrill Spawn's conclusion that the evidence was admissible to show that Stoutsenberger was in a position to be aware of the victim's poor hygiene. Like seriously, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, on, like, serious, like, this is, I, d I don't know really know where, how, how to finish this video, at all, if I be honest with you, because, like, you know, when it comes to lol cows, I really do believe most of them are more harm to themselves, and I think a lot of lol cows, it's just the tism, you know what I mean? Like, these people just are people that should never have been allowed on the internet and belong in care, you know what I mean? Like, these people are just, no, keep them away from the public, they shouldn't be allowed to spout whatever they want on the internet, just keep them away. And they're a lot of fun to laugh at, you know what I mean? I fall into it, like, I, I, I pity them, I really do feel bad for them, like, Chris Chan and ADF, like, you know, that they're sad stories to me, more than anything, but this, this guy's fucking disgusting, like, genuinely fucking vile. Like, you know, he's the type of thing that should have just been fucking put down at birth. You know, genuinely, he's not a fucking lol guy, he's a fucking horror guy. Like, what? And how, like, it's, it can only be a good thing that he's that fucking stupid, that he would actually talk about these things, because at least he's where he belongs. You know what I mean? Well, at least that's the best you can do, like, you know? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know, like... <sighs> I, I, I would say, well, like, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video and all that, but I don't know if anyone could enjoy this fucking video. It's fucking vile, you know? But sure, like, um, I suppose <laughs> you got to do that plug, don't you? Um, if you enjoyed it, you know, like and subscribe, all that jazz, and, like, you know... Oh, it's hard. I, I, I don't think I'll... He's up there for me, to be honest with you. He's, like, you know... Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But, look... We've got more gold coast to go, and I don't think, I think he's possibly the worst one out of them, if I be honest with you, ever the most vile and disgusting. Like, you know, yeah, Chris Chan is vile and disgusting, but I do have more of a sense of pity towards him than anything else. Whereas this, this guy's just, no, just, uh, I can only be happy he's in jail, you know? If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This! This is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this, please?